dying junk Don't be slow, the troopers are coming tonight In the year of 53, transported to this colony To spend ten years hard labor breaking stones From stealing bread and cheese in Wales To breaking out of local jails I'm speaking of Joseph Malipo Jones What's that? Don't recognize the name. Well, I would say that that's a shame. Some facts of local history you should know. While sentenced to the government bin, this rascal could not be kept in. You'll hear him called most often Moondine Joe. Moondine Joe, go, go, go. Better be traveling life. Moondine Joe, don't be slow. The troopers are coming tonight. First time in 1861 saw Mr. Jones out on the run, recaptured and was sentenced three years more. For stealing horses he was tried, found guilty and put back inside, but 12 months later squeezed out through a door. Well, he breathed himself with mutton fat, slipped through the bars, and that was that, but freedom lasted only half a week. In 64 escaped as well from Queen Victoria's new hotel, Fremantle Jail, he helped to build, he beat. Moondine Jones. Go, 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 better be traveling light. Moondine Joe, don't be slow, the troopers are coming tonight. In 66, his newest trick, stole night and fire, the lock to pick, was caught and sent in six months wearing chains. But ten days later, he was free, for two months wandered happily, then caught and back inside, he went again. Well, to stop his little moonlight clips, the walls were strengthened up with bits of railway sleepers Jared couldn't cut. The bars were set in rows of four, and a shackle bolted to the floor. The screws all thought they'd stop him, sure enough. Moondine Joe, go, 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 better be traveling light. Moondine Joe, don't be slow, the troopers are coming tonight. From bed straw, Joseph made a dummy. The jailer didn't think it funny, cause he really made a dummy out of him. When the morning came, they found his boulder. The screws all had their egos shoulder. The hopes of keeping Joe in seemed quite dim. <laughs> Two years on the land he was. He thought he'd shown them who was boss. The local settlers welcomed Joe to die. His stealing only seemed for fun. He never threatened with a gun, but his downfall came in 1869. Mm dang Joe. Go, 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 better be traveling light. Moondine Joe, don't be slow, the troopers are coming tonight. Well, they found this rather pleasant fella, drunk as a lord in a good wine cellar. They locked him up and threw away the key. But Joe turned from running to persuasion, and it was really quite an occasion when the governor granted his pardon in 1873. From that day, Joe played it straight, he let those prison waters wait, he caused no one no trouble anymore. At night, he left this mortal state, and if some fit didn't open those pearly gates, I'll bet he broke in something he had never done before. Moondine Joe, go, 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 better be traveling light. Moondine Joe, don't be slow, the troopers are come tonight. The troopers are come tonight. The troopers are coming to you now. The troopers are coming to you now. The troopers are coming to you now. Woo! Well, that was Moondine Joe. Oh. Thank you very Bye. much, Peter. Oh, my pleasure. Would you like to uh, join us for the rest of our foundation day? Dinner? I'm waiting for the pavlova. That's what I'm waiting for. Oh, yeah. the pavlova? We haven't cut the pavlova yet. Wait, there it is over there. I thought it was cheesecake. No, it's pavlova. That's that's part of the foundation day dinner, Thomas. Oh, I see. Well. All righty. Yeah. Hey. Um, by the way, Peter's, um, if you'd like Moondine Joe, Peter has a record of that. And he showed it to me and I put it down and I haven't got it. But what's the name of it, Peter? It's called West Coast Story. West Coast We put it down very carefully somewhere and it's, it's, yes. it's lost. It's and we'll, show it, we'll show it in the next segment. All right, then, Thomas. We'll oh, show great, it Thomas. Later. Yeah, oh, I might go out and buy Thanks for it, having me to breakfast. I really enjoyed it. And a happy Western Australia week to you all. Thanks yeah. very much, Peter. I think Fat Cat's just woke it up. You must have woken him up because he'd been asleep. I think he's still asleep. Looks a bit strange, doesn't he? Sleepwalking. Yep, I think mm. he is. You're never supposed to wake people when they're sleepwalking. No, or I'll let him go then. Oh, careful, Fat Cat, where you sit. I think he's going to eat the pavlova. <laughs> what have you got? Oh, you've got the record. Thanks very much, Purse. That's a copy of um, Peter Harry's record. And if you'd like a copy, you can 
get it at any music stores, Pat? Yes, yes, won't name any, but it's around the town. Somebody told me they saw it in a store yesterday afternoon, so Good. it must be in the stores in Perth. Thanks. And if they can't, they can get it from me direct, wherever I may be. Yeah, I'm going to go out and buy it now. Well, do you know what we've got next? It's the Fun Time Dancers, Pat. Can you show you're awake? OK, the Fun Time Dancers are coming up very soon, and we also have a brand new competition for you later on, so don't go away. <gasps> Pat, that's Be not all for you. Be we'll careful. see you soon. I'll have some more pumpkin, that's what I'll have. Yeah.